Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is video is going to be an answer for a, somebody emailed me that works with multiple pages. Uh, I don't work with multiple pages except for a very few times, but the young man asked me. Oh, well, first of all, to create a second page, just get on your page one and left click your mouse and uh, insert a page after. So we're going to make three pages. And he's evidently not a laser engraver. He does, he's writing a pamphlet and needs columns and he wants indexing lines. But I'm just going to use two indexing lines and I'm putting them in the center of the page. Now, with guidelines, they're going to be on every page. There's page three, page two, and page one. He only wants the guidelines on page one. He doesn't know how to get rid of the guidelines on the other pages. Well, that's very easily done. You go up to Windows. Dockers Object Manager and you're going to come up and you're going to see page one page two and page three if you will click on the guideline it'll turn red and just Move it over till you see that little box Grab the other one. It's going to turn red and move it over till you see that little box Now those two guidelines have been put onto page one But they're not on page two anymore or page three. They're only on page one now with that said just another little insight if you want to if you want those guidelines for later but you don't you're tired of looking at them or don't need them right now you can always uncheck guidelines and they're gone from all pages and then all you have to do is turn them back on is just to check next to the guidelines i hope it helped him a little bit and thank you for watching